This is Alan Bush with ADMIS with the daily financial forecast for Tuesday, April 26th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we did see higher prices in the overnight trade. However, we did see some pressure then developing with the durable goods orders coming in on the weak side, giving back a good portion of the gains that were inspired by higher energy prices. Also, the consumer confidence index uh, coming in a little bit weaker than expected, and yet stock indices still higher on the day. Uh, traders on the floor a bit surprised that indices are holding up that well with two negative reports. We would think that that would be a very clear sign of strength for the indices. Also, we do have the Fed's meeting uh, today and tomorrow, so it's a two-day policy meeting, and we will get a statement from the Fed at the conclusion of the meeting tomorrow at about 1 o'clock Central Time. It does appear that the Fed will be on hold at this meeting. Longer term, though, we do feel that the main trend is higher for stock index futures even though the Fed will probably raise at least one time this year, that will not be enough to get in the way of this bull market in the indices. Now, moving over to the currencies, the dollar index under some pressure again today. This on a growing belief that the rate of Fed, Fed funds uh, increases will probably be relatively slow. So with the dollar weaker, most other currencies are trading higher with the interest rate differentials somewhat favoring currencies over the dollar index, primarily due to the anticipated slow pace of Fed uh, rate increases likely this year. Uh, the pound advancing on the growing belief that there will be no European Union uh, uh, no vote uh, as far as the UK staying in the European Union. Also, we are seeing the yen trading higher as analysts now think that the Bank of Japan at their meeting on the 28th may add more stimulus. It may be less than some analysts uh, had anticipated earlier, and that would be a bit friendly for the yen. And moving into the interest rate futures markets, we are seeing the bonds now lower for the seventh consecutive day. Only a limited recovery with those two weak economic reports that we had uh, earlier today. Also, supply an issue with offerings from the Treasury today and also on Thursday. And now moving over to the gold and silver, if the Fed has any hawkish commentary in their uh, statement tomorrow, that should be viewed as a buying opportunity. Of course, a hawkish uh, tone to the Fed statement would be bearish to precious metals. And if that is indeed the case, any pressure in gold and silver should be viewed as a buying opportunity. We still feel that the main trend is higher. Uh, for all of the precious metals. We also feel that the main trend is higher for all of the industrial commodities as well. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.